We call the men and women who unselfishly defend our country patriots. were patriots, these five Irish-American men from Waterloo, Iowa. Their love of each other and their love of the country was directed by a simple motto, we stick together. Bill Ball, 
He had spent so much time with their sister that he was almost considered a sixth brother. They knew he was serving on the Arizona. They soon got the news that Bill had been killed. Now the war, war was personal. The boys left the room to discuss their plans, the same plans thousands of Americans were making. Their dad knew what they were talking about and asked them, what shall it be, boys, Army or Navy? George and Frank had already served a stint in the Navy, so they convinced their brothers to go that route. Alita had overheard their discussion and was already crying when they announced their plans. Al, who was the only married brother with a young son, could be exempt from serving. His wife, however, knew he would be heartbroken to stay home and encouraged him to follow his brothers. They were told the Navy didn't want relatives serving together. The Sullivan's wouldn't have it any other way. And a strong letter from George convinced the Navy to bend its policy. After four weeks of training, the brothers were assigned to the light cruiser Juno. This was wartime, and the ship was soon headed for battle in the South Pacific. Commander Swenson knew that Juno was fast. It was heavily armed, but its armor could never withstand a torpedo attack. Another torpedo struck the Juno. Sailors on, the sh on other ships described the explosion as one no one could survive. In fact, over 100 of the 700 on board had survived, including George Sullivan. After a week in life rafts, only 10 survived. Most, including George, died of their injuries, dehydration, or attacks by sharks. Back in Waterloo, rumors of the Juno loss began circulating. Alita was desperate for the truth, wrote a letter to the Navy. When the same recruiter who had signed the boys up showed up at Adams Street, Tom Sullivan asked, how many? All five was the reply. Anyone who has experienced the loss of a family member can understand their deep sense of grief. Losing five sons was almost more than anyone could bear. Can you imagine your future plans of fa family gatherings for birthdays, Thanksgiving, and Christmas, all destroyed in an instant? Of course, all of Waterloo shared their grief. Sympathy poured in from across the country. Even President Roosevelt penned a personal letter. Or 
II and two battle stars in the Korean War. Hollywood made a movie about the boys, and there were many other tributes in the city of Waterloo. Eventually, I christened a new USS the Sullivans in 1995. I have never met a Navy member who doesn't know the story of the Sullivan brothers. I look forward to the day when Thank <laughs> you.